This morning, I'm kind of modifying. Instead of saying gang, 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 I'm saying gang, 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 gang. Because the repronouncing the G gets harder as we go higher. So I'm just I'm just modifying it. Gang, 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 gang.
up to high C. Uh, concentrate on a light, soft, short sound. Nothing loud or heavy to encourage head voice. So because I'm not very warmed up, this this note is already I'm already flipping into head voice even though it's low. sure it's ng and not a, not just a hum the ng part of it's important this one where the top the top note is in head voice and the bottom note is in chest voice it it might not work for your voice in every range so where I'm going to start might only work for the lower voices I'll go down for a minute and then I'll go back up it's this one um Each time I go to the top note, it's head voice. So there's a bit of uh, yodeling feel to it. We'll go down for a minute for the low voices and then we'll go back up. crackly and yodely it doesn't matter it's, what what matters is that you're switching back and forth between head voice and chest voice start 
back where we started before and we'll go up for the high voices. So that's essentially, it's, it's causing the vocal cords to do a bit of a workout, switching back and forth between thick and thin. So when we're singing in our head voice, the, the vocal cords are kind of like a jellyfish or jello or um, they're, ver they're very malleable and they're constantly changing shape and thickness to accommodate different pitches. So when we sing, when we sing in head voice, the edge of the vocal cord thins out like a, like a steak knife or like a piece of paper, the edge of it becomes very thin. And when we sing in our low in our chest voice, the vocal cord changes shape and becomes thicker. So when we're doing this exercise, it's going thick, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin, thick, thin, and so on. It's, it's having to change shape on every single note, which is challenging. And that's why sometimes it fails. And that's why it's a good exercise. It's sort of like doing sit-ups where the muscles have to be engaged and then they relax and then they engage. So the... The, that's part of why we do that exercise so the chords have to go thin thick thin thick as opposed to singing a melody where they're sort of maintaining more of a constant shape when we do a big jump like that the, the shape has to change instantly uh, okay let's do a couple of glissandos like this doesn't matter what note you start on uh, ever think he would be making these sounds and now we make them every Friday and some of you do them on other days uh, so my my 16 year old daughter is really into trombone and it's looking like that's going to be her her path in life her major in college and so forth and trombone is, and other brass instruments, they're all about flexibility of the lips. So the lips have to vibrate and the lips have, the amateur has to change shape constantly to, to produce the notes. So brass players have to do daily exercises called lip slurs where they go, they have to do all these what are called lip slurs if they if they don't do lip slurs they really can't be a good brass player it's it, and, and if you skip a day you might as well skip a week like the muscles very quickly forget uh the shape they're supposed to make and the shape they're supposed to hold it's the same thing with vocal cords. The reason we do these warm-ups is we're reminding our vocal cords, you know, daily or weekly or, or every other day, whatever. We're reminding them what shape that we want them to take. And we're reminding the muscles what we want them to do. And the further we go in between these exercises, the, the muscles forget. I mean, you know, even, even in the span of a week or a month, the muscles forget. So the more frequently we do the exercises, the more likely they are to remember the shape we want them to take. Okay, let's sing. Let's start with something we haven't spent much time on, and that is um, walking my baby back home. Uh, there's a whole 
there's a whole middle section that we haven't looked at, which is a which is another song, and there's these uh, alternate lyrics that we need to write in. So let's go from top of six. This is walking my baby back home. Top of six. Let me get my glasses. Where are my glasses? Hmm. Oh, hey, they're upstairs. I'll be right back. I think they're in my jacket. Sorry about that. Stupid things you have to think about when your when your eyes are old is I went I had a, a meeting last night at a restaurant and I had to remember to take my glasses in my jacket pocket so that I could read the menu. Anybody relate to that? Join the club. Uh top of six. So let's just do the bass for a minute. At 46, two, ready, go. I don't want to walk without you, baby. Just that much. Two, three, four. I don't want to walk without you, baby. At the same time, the tenors have. I don't want to walk without you, baby. Walk without you, baby. So together, tenors and basses at 46, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Altos and sopranos respond with. So the whole line goes like this. Two, three, four. I don't want to walk without you, baby, baby, baby. So altos, your line there is baby, baby. So the, the, the rhythm is this, walk without you, baby. At the same place, the sopranos have. So again, with the lead in from the tenor and bass, walk without you, baby. So let's go back to 46. So here's the alto note when you come in altos. Here's the soprano note. Let's just do those two phrases, baby, baby. Walk without you, baby, baby, baby. That's the timing of it. Go back to 46 for a second. A one, two, 46. I don't want to walk without you, baby, baby, baby. Does that make sense a little bit? Let's go on for a second and we'll come back. Here's the next phrase with the tenors and basses. Walk without my arms around you, baby. So you're in octaves. The basses have arms about you. Love about you, baby. Meanwhile, the 
tenors. I'm about you, baby. Let's do that just starting at arm, tenors and basses, two, three, four. So going back to the word walk, whatever measure that is that doesn't have a measure number, but here's walk. Two, three, four, walk. When I'm about you, baby, baby, baby. So the sopranos and altos, the little answer lines, the rhythms are the same both times, but the notes are different. So the first time, in the middle of the page, the altos have a one, two, three, baby, baby. The second time, the altos have a one, two, three, baby, baby. Okay, I know we're, it's a little bit fragmented, but we're going to go back and put it all together. So let's do the soprano and alto part starting in the middle of the page. Here's the alto. Here's the soprano, and it's a one, two, three, baby, baby, a one, two, three, without my arms about you, baby, baby. Now for a second, go back to 46, and then I'm going to ask you what you need help with on this page. It's a little bit tricky. I'll try to play some chords underneath so you have a context of what's happening in the piano. Here's measure 46, and the, the tenor and bass is this note. A one, two, three, four. Kind of tricky, right? Uh, who needs who needs a certain thing there? Who needs a specific help there? Or do you feel like you're sort of getting it? Maybe you've rehearsed it with your choirs, or maybe you've listened to the tracks. Did I see a hand go up? Yes. Okay. Um, hi, Paul. Um, it's at the at the second round of Baby Baby. Yeah. The soprano notes on the second baby. What are they? Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, thanks. Could you run the, those those two measures, please, Paul, for the soprano? You bet. So it's so it's a one, two, three, baby, baby. So it's baby, and then baby. But in tempo, it's this: a one, two, three, baby. So each time that rhythm is one, two, three, baby, baby, it's syncopated and it's swung. How's that for challenging? <clears throat> the only thing that could make it worse is if we were adding a retard in there. Swung, retard, and syncopated. 46 again, top of the page. A one, two. Sort of getting it. Let's move on. Top of seven now. The sopranos and altos have. I thought the day you left me behind, the day you left me, you left me behind. Just that much again. So I'm starting at 54. Three, four. I thought the day. So I 
had the I had the altos do something in uh, in measure sixty, where you have the word but the on a on a little eighth note at the end of the measure. Right after it says off my mind, but I'm gonna have the altos. I'm gonna recommend that the altos sing a G sharp which is the same note you're about to sing in the next measure. So here's where I'm talking about. Can you see this? Is it showing up on the screen? It's a little bit digitized on my end, but on the word, but you're going to sing the same alto, sing the same G sharp that you sing in the next measure on the word now. And it'll be an easier jump instead of going off my mind, but now, but now, I think is a difficult jump for altos. Instead, you're going to go off my mind, but now, but and now will be the same note and it fits the chord. So off my mind, but now I find. Let's go back to the top of the page. We'll break, and then when we get to 61, we'll we'll work on the parts individually. So here's top of seven, measure 54. Two, three, four. I thought the day you left me behind, the day you left me, you left me behind. I take a So on the word but now I find sopranos you have this but now I find that I a lot of you know this melody already but for those that don't but now I find that I it's a very chromatic melody meaning it has all these kind of half step moves in it that's part of what makes it cool but now I find that I... At the same place, the altos are going. But now I find that I... Try that again, altos, ready. But now I find that I... A little half step, little half step trickery there. And the tenors at that point have this. But now I find that I, that I. Try, try that tenors, two, three. But now I find that I, that I. And basses you have. But now I find that I, that I. So basses, I'm going to give you permission on the word but to sing that D down an octave rather than having to jump up. If jumping up is fine and you're able to do it, go for it. Can we practice the alto with the higher note too? Of course. Once? Of course, but I'm working on the bass at the moment. Oh, okay, okay. So so the bass, the bass could be this. But now, but now I find time two three but now i find that i if you're able to sing the higher note that's fine too but now i find that i and again tenors you have but now i find that i let's try tenors and basses together and then we'll do alto and soprano together, and then we'll do all four parts. So here's low bass, tenor, two, three. Basses, that's kind of tricky. Now I find that I... So the alto again is... But now I find that I... And the soprano... But now I find that I... 
let's do let's do those two parts together. Here's alto, here's soprano. Two, three, four. Let's put all four parts together. So here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Two, three, four. Now, let's go back. Let's go back one phrase. I'd take a stroll and get you right off my mind. Altos, uh, when you sing that phrase, I'd take a stroll and get you right off my mind. But now, does that make sense? With the change that I made on that one note? Hopefully that's easier to sing. Let's try altos and sopranos starting at I'd take a stroll. I wish they had measure numbers on every measure or every system. Starting at I'd take a stroll. Two, three, four, one. I'd take a stroll and get you right. Uh. How we doing on that measure? A little bit tricky, right? Sometimes to find your note, especially over Zoom. Let's go back a page now to measure 46 and kind of do this whole big chunk. And then I'll ask you again if there's a certain measure or certain note that you want help with. Top of six, measure 46. Here we go. Two, three, four. I don't want to walk without you, baby. I don't want to walk without my arms Kind of a tricky spot, I think. There's lots of lots of uh, lots of musical manholes to fall in. Any particular spot that you want help with? Any tr any specific measure or note? Uh, bass uh, measure sixty. Uh, how to find the note? But now, yes. Yeah, so uh, here's a couple of thoughts. The melody goes off my mind and the next note would be here if you were singing up the scale off my mind but... so that's one way let me see here off my mind you're gonna are you gonna sing but so off my mind but That is a tough note to find. I take a stroll and get you right off my mind. If you went, if you in your mind you went off my mind, but would be the next note in the scale. Off my mind, but now, but now I find that I, it's tough. Oh, um, off my mind, but, but you'd have to just think that. Uh, I take a, I take a stroll and get you right off my mind, but is the note. You'd have to be just thinking that in your head while they're going by at lightning speed and then magic may come up with the note. Sometimes I have a mathematical or a theoretical method for myself, and sometimes I have to just memorize the sound of the note 
relative to what has come before. So if I hear this, I take a stroll and get you right off my mind, but I have to just sort of memorize that note, but it's tough. So I will tell you this, the word, the note on the word, but is not super important because it's going by, it's an eighth note and it's like the the next note is really more important. You could even not sing the word but because the women are going to sing it and, and they're going to nail it because it's easier for them. If you just come in on, now I find that I, and just leave off. If, if, you, if you work on it and the word but is too difficult, just omit it or just sing it like this. But now, two, three. But now I find, I'm hardly singing a note, I'm just sort of saying the word but, because it's so quick. I take a stroll and get you right off my mind. But now I, sorry, now I find that I, so I'm not even spending too much time on it. Let's go back to top of six. That didn't really answer your question very well. Gave you two two musical methods, and then the third one's a cheat. Well, that, that was good, thanks. Uh, top of six, measure 46. I'll try to play melody and sing as best I can. Here we go. Two, three, four. I don't want to walk without you, baby, baby, baby. Walk without my arm about you. We're at 62. A any other spots on those two pages that you want help with? Yeah, Paul. Yes, sir. Um, uh, measure 62. Uh, could you play the chord structure so that I could hear how this A and C on the upbeat of two match with the G and B and the female voices up you above? Bet. I'm, that so it, that it's a little hard for me to put that into my head yet. So the core, the piano is doing this. is going I, that I. so it's I, that I, I, that I. and the tenor over, over, overlap the, the upper part with that yeah thing. so here's bass tenor alto soprano I'll play them all the same rhythm Okay. Does that help a little bit? Yeah, it does. So then the bass is going to go, I, that I don't want to walk without the. Okay, one more time, bass is starting at 62. Two, ready, go. I, that I don't want to walk without the sunshine shine is on the four end so bass is go back to pickups to 61 that that treacherous butt treacherous butt is the title of my album autobiography i don't know what treacherous butt here we go basses this is pickups to 61 two three but now i find that i that I don't want to walk without the sunshine. And shine has a shine fall off on it. Hey, tenor, same place, but now I find two, three. But now I find that I. Very 
jazzy. Same thing, tenors, two, three. But now I find that I, that I don't want to walk without the sunshine. Tenors and basses, pickups to 61. So bass is going to go, but now, and tenors are going to go, but now. Here we go, two, three. I think that's difficult. Um, altos, let me hear you starting at but. Two, three. Sing along with you, altos. Pickups to 61. Two, three. But now I find that I don't want to walk without the sunshine. So the word on sun is this. Sunshine. Let's try alto, tenor, bass. So here's bass, here's tenor, here's alto, but now, two, three, four. Two and three and four. So on sunshine, we have bass, tenor, alto, Okay, uh, sopranos, let me hear you, same place, pickups to 61, two, three, but now I find that I don't want to walk without the sunshine, I goofed it up, sorry, walk without the sunshine. Let's try out. Yes. After this, can we go back to leading to 49, leading to 53, the, the two different book range? When you have a chance, when you have a chance. Yeah, we'll go back. We'll, I'm going to try okay. to work on okay. the measures too. So let's do pickups to 61. Here's alto. Here's soprano. Pickups to 61. Two, three, and. Let's try the other parts with us. So here's bass, here's tenor, here's alto, here's soprano. Hey, by the way, if this feels difficult or tricky, it's because it is. So you just have to be patient with yourself and with the process. Don't don't give up, but also don't be dismayed if you're like, my, this seems hard. Yeah, it is hard. Here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Pickups to 61, two, three, four. Let's go back to top of six, starting at 46, our old familiar spot, which is now well worn with the footsteps of our rehearsal. Oh, man. It's a baby, baby for the pickup for female. The two different times. Right. That's what you want to rehearse. Is that what you'd like to rehearse, Anne? And you're muted. And you're muted. And disconnected from the world. I can't hear you, Anne. 
I'm sorry. What I'm trying to say is baby, baby, and the next one, baby, baby. I can go follow the tenor. They say fa, then I saw do, re, and the next one is la. I say re, mi. But then when you are singing along, it's very hard to go to that. You have a better way of uh, jump for us to go follow the tenor to go to the soprano. Well, it sounds like you actually have a good method. Maybe what needs to happen is I won't sing along so that I'm not singing a note that's kind of distracting you. I'll just play the parts. But you're you're using solfege to find your note, which is correct. I'll just try not singing this time and see if it goes better because I might have been singing a note that was clashing or something. So let's try 46, but I won't sing. I'll just play. I'll just play parts. Here's 46. A one, two. Ready, go. take a long cool pull or a sip thank you actually the last i didn't even have problem there but there the baby baby is it's puzzling me i cannot get it every single time is it the is it the rhythm or the notes it's the note because then baby the first baby go up the baby and then the second baby um i guess the feet the alto there are different confused me because we still go up the, the auto go down the second y b y oh yeah yeah that's that i think i was confused there yeah so baby and then baby so baby 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 that I would have to kind of do it over and over like that to help myself learn it, but it is tricky and for sure. Okay, so any any spots on those measures? Are you are you guys sick of the song? Like I'm trying to get I'm trying to sort of break the back on this one a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul, could you please demonstrate top of eight that sunshine that fall off thing, whatever you called it? Yeah, sunshine. Sunshine. So you sing the note for a minute and then you fall off. Sunshine. Uh, so like coming from before. Walk without the sunshine. It's like a it's like a, a trumpet player or a trombone player. They 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 do fall offs every day. We do them occasionally. They do them every day. Uh, let's, if you guys have the patience, let's keep working on the rest of this little song, because I think it's difficult. And if we, if we keep putting it off, it's not going to get any less difficult. We're just going to run out of rehearsal time, if that makes sense. So now we're at the top of eight. Sopranos, let me hear you. Wind, you have to turn off all that sunshine. What a great melody and a great lyric. Wish I had I wish I had rid it. Sopranos, two, three, four, one. You have to turn off all that sunshine. Off. At this tempo, the notes feel really long, but same place. Two, three, four, one. You have to turn off. Cause 
Lots of tricky spots. Spots. Let's do the first phrase, altos. Three, four. Why, oh, why do you have to turn off all that? So I'm going to give you permission to sing a low D if you prefer. Instead of going, turn off all that sun, you could go, turn off all that sun. That might be easier, right? Ding, 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 instead of. Why did they write it that way? Why did they write the altos so high? I don't know. Here we go, altos. Two, three, four. Why, oh, why do you have to turn off all that sunshine? Try alto and soprano together. Here's alto, here's soprano. Top of eight, two, ready, go. close there's a lot of e -ha, e -ha, chromatic uh -huh. hard to find your notes sometimes tenors let me hear you for a second two three four why oh why do you have to turn off all that sound
let's try the top three parts. Here's tenor, here's alto, here's soprano. Two, three, four. Tricky, tricky, tr <coughs> tricky. <coughs> Basses. Two. Ready, go. Why, oh, why'd you have to turn off all that sunshine? Oh, baby, please come back or you'll break my Sometimes it's sort of intuitive and sometimes it's anti-intuitive. I know the word is counter. See, I just got to throw some little grenades out there and see if you guys are still, if we're still connected, the internet's still working. Well, what a great lesson this is on getting from half notes to whole notes to half notes and half notes to whole notes. It's really right on. Yeah, it's it's quite tricky. So basses, let me hear you again. Top of eight, and then we'll try to put it together. And then we'll go back and do it with the the section we've been rehearsing. Here's basses. Two, ready, go. Why, oh, why you have to turn off all that sunshine? Oh, baby, please come. with it. Here's bass, here's tenor. Two, ready, go. together then we'll go back here's bass alto sorry bass tenor alto soprano third measure top of eight two ready go written in here we stop for a while instead of the what what it used to be we'll do that in just a second now let's go back please to top of six so i'm not going to sing because i don't want what part i sing to distract you from what part you're singing i'm just going to play the parts and hopefully that'll be helpful Measure 46, top of six. Here's the bass and tenor. Two, ready, go.
we stop for a while She gives me a smile And snuggles her head to my chest So, what do you think? You getting closer? On a scale of on a scale of one to ten, how do you rate your how do you rate your accuracy? Five, see a bunch of fives. Yeah, I I think it's I think it's <clears throat> really difficult, um, really tricky notes to sing. I mean, there's some tricky rhythms, but mostly it's the notes, all the half steps and chromatic and sharps and fast like that. I think it's difficult. It's it's um, representative of close harmony jazz vocals when you hear when you hear those uh, groups on recordings. These are the kinds of notes that they're singing that make it sound so jazzy. But when you try to actually sing those notes yourself, tough as nails. Um, what are the new words? Okay, so I'll, I'll touch on this. This this has been handled somewhat in your live rehearsals, I think. But at 78, so middle of nine, at 78, the new words are the same as the new words earlier in the song, and we'll go back to that spot in a minute. But at 78, it should say, we stop for a while she gives me a smile and then where the basses and tenors join it should be and snuggles her head to my chest so these are these are lyrics from another part of the song so, some people were offended by the um, she says if i try to kiss her she'll she'll cry that sort of what used to be acceptable is now sort of politically incorrect or something. So. I don't, Paul, I don't think that was the unacceptable part. The unacceptable part is she started to cry and then he dried her tears all through the rest of the night because she I didn't know. want to be kissed and oh, he kept kissing her. It's the whole what, what, what's wrong with kissing all night and, and cleaning the, wipe the tears? That was the reality. What about the powder? This I'm is not, so dirty. I'm not, I'm, dirty. Not, I'm not debating it. I'm not, I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger, so I'm not going to get into it. So here's <laughs> here's 78. Two, three. We stop for a while. She gives me a smile and snuggles her head to my chest. Here's the next part. We start into pet, and that's when I get her powder all over my vest hand in hand to a barbecue stand so top of 10 top of 10 the first measure is that's when i get for tenors and basses and then for the whole choir Second measure, top of 10, her powder all over my vest hand. And then... We don't use powder. <laughs> we don't use powder. I know. It's dirty. I know. Here's middle of nine. Middle of nine. I used it in the 50s, Anne. Yeah. Okay. Middle of nine, 78, two, three, we stop for a while. She gives me a smile and snuggles her head to my chest. We start into pet, turn the page, and that's when I get her powder all over my vest hand now real quick go back to the section earlier in the song that has the same lyrics so go go to top of four measure 27 top of four measure 27 this is the other place that we replaced this is the other place that we switched the words so pickups to 27 two three we stop for a while gives me a smile sorry uh, here, here it comes again. Two, three. Uh. Uh, we start into pen 
it and that's when I get her powder all over my vest top of five hand in hand to a barbecue stand so it's those two places where we switched one verse for another making it three percent less offensive and 200 percent um I think this is more natural. Pet is pretty bad in implication. Two hundred percent more controversial. Thank you, Anne. So do I. That's the only word in the whole piece I object to. I'm, gonna, I'm muting you guys because I don't want to talk about it. Here we go. Moving on to another song. Uh, let's work on um, "Home on the Rock" because I can use. Um, rehearsal tracks for this one because the words and the notes are accurate. Home on the rock. So let's look at um, bottom of three. Sopranos. In my choir, I'm having the sopranos jump back and forth. So like at bottom of three, measure 13. Let me turn the uh, piano up for a second. Two, three, from high on the mountain, the fire fell down. Oh, hear the word of the Lord. Tell all of God's children to Listen to the word of the Lord. See what I'm doing, sopranos, going back and forth? Let's try it again. One, two, three. From high on the mountain, the fire fell down. Oh, hear the word of the Lord. Tell all of God's children to gather round. Come and listen to the word. Altos, let me hear you. So you're going to start. So so in some choirs, the altos are dividing to cover the soprano part. So I'm going to play both of them. Starting in the last note, bottom of three. Last note, bottom of three. Here's the regular alto and the soprano. So you can sing either one. It doesn't matter to me. We're going to go, oh, hear the word. So pickups to the next page. A one. Two, three. Tell all of God's children to gather round. Let's try something. Let's try the underneath parts minus the little soprano solo line. Let's try bass tenor alto soprano starting the last note bottom of three. So here's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Oh, hear the word. A one, two, three. Let's try this section with the track. Uh, let me find a good spot here. Listen to the word of the Lord from high on the mountain. See where I am now? It's kind of rolling at the top of three. Here it comes. Listen to the word of the Lord. Jesus, building my home 
so something we haven't talked about yet, at least not in my rehearsals, is that not all the word rock all the words, all the word rocks are the same length. So like, look at top of five, top of five, build in my home on the rock, on the rock. So the first rock is long and the second one is short. Build in my home on the rock, on the rock. I'm building my home on the rock up. It's real easy every time we say the word rock to make it short, rock of Jesus, but they're not. So specifically the ones that are short measure 23, the second one, this is top of five, measure 23, the second word rock is short. The next okay, one, we get a breath after that. Yeah, yeah, there's a little space in there for you to catch a breath, and I think you're going to need one. Then look at the last measure of five. The second rock in that measure, right before the word children, that one is short. And then hang in there with me go to page seven it's it's in the same place as each time but it's you know on different pages so page seven last measure the second one right before the word i'm uh, i'm getting a chat saying but those rocks are all quarter notes yes but but they're short so i have a i have an edited score from Jonathan Miller and he wrote in staccato markings on these. That's why I'm telling you, I'm not just making this up. So the second one in the last measure of seven, the second word rock is short. And then uh, page eight, measure 43. The second one is short right before the word children. That one's short. And then it occurs in the same place as each time. So now look at page 10, measure 56 at the bottom. The second one is short right before the word I'm. And then page 11, the last measure at the top, the second one is short right before the word children. So the only the only chorus we didn't really cover was the first one and it's in the same places so look at page the first page. Measure seven. The second word rock right before the word i'm that one is short. The way to indicate, I mean, you can you can mark it however you want to. The musical language would just be a dot above it, which is which is the indication for staccato. Now look at the top of page three, measure eleven. The second one is short, right before the word children. So it's a pattern, and it's the same every time. So if we just speak it from the first, very, from the very beginning. One, two, three, I'm building my home on the rock, on the rock. I'm building my home on the rock of Jesus, building my home on the rock, on the rock. Children, listen to the word of the Lord. So it's important then to not sing them all short. It's real easy to go build in my home on the rock, on the rock, but they're not all short. Some of them are rock on the rock. Uh, is somebody asking a, a question? Is there, do I see a hand raised? Anne. Hi, Paul. Um, on page five, for example, um, are, can we breathe after the word home in the first measure? Or are we supposed to carry over? I think we're supposed to carry so that the tempo, okay. it'll be come and listen to the word of the Lord. I'm building my home on the rock, on the rock. That's what it's supposed to be. Now, people can sneak a breath, 
but collectively it's supposed to be not. So just for a second, I'm going to put it back to the beginning. And we're going to sing along with the track with that short, long, short, long business in mind and see if we can kind of get the pattern. Here it comes. And a one, two, three. I'm building my home on the rock, on the rock. I'm building my home on the rock of Jesus. Building my home. hear it? The long, short, long, short. One more time, just that again, and then we'll keep going this time. that long section of the track are there any notes or rhythms that you're not getting and i know it's a lot of repeated but do you feel like you're solid on the notes in in that whole section so right where i stopped it is where it changes a little bit and in this section the altos have to divide to cover the soprano because the soprano part is overlapping and they can't go back and forth like i was having them do before so pickups to 46. Paul, are we singing the B flat correctly in the soprano line measure? Well, say six first measure, top of six first measure. I don't know because I can't hear you. Okay, true. <laughs> Can you play the B flat so I'll know? Yeah, so top top of six. You said you said six? Oh. Listen, so like children listen to the word of the lord is that, okay. the, is that the line you're referring to mm -hmm. on the rock on the rock children listen to the word of the lord that's just a blues right and it's, is it about stuff yeah children listen to the word of the lord I got it. okay great so let's go back to the last note of eight. No sand. Let me hear the sopranos. A one, two, three. No sand, no marsh, no field, no wind. I'll build my home on all God has to say time soprano same place last note of eight a one two three no sand no marsh no field no way i'll build my home on all god has to say jump down to the the word say you feel like you're getting that sopranos 
Let me hear the underneath parts, the little echo. No sand, no marsh. I'm starting top of nine with bass, tenor, alto, bass, tenor, alto. And the altos are divided. So here's bass, tenor, alto, alto. This is top of nine. A one, two, three, and a one. And a uh. And a one. Let's try that with the track for a second. Let me find that real quick without the sopranos for the moment. I'll take soprano out. Here it comes. Like you're getting it let's put the sopranos in and do the same section again so i'm rolling it somewhere bottom of uh eight question in the chat about who sings the solo line and it's the sopranos so starting at page nine the sopranos are on the top line this is measure 46 sopranos are on the top line the altos are divided covering the alto line and what is the lower soprano line and then the tenor, oh, go on. tenor and bass are as written question could we hear the high alto part so this is page nine at the top. This is the top alto. Two, three, four. No sand, no marsh, no field, no way. I'll build my home. All God has to say, he has to say. So then on I'm building my home, you're back to the normal alto. Did that help to hear it isolated? Let's try from the beginning and then we'll see what you still need. Here it is back to the beginning of the chart. Oh, somebody's asking, could I do the first measures page 10 of the Sopranos? Let me go to page 10. Yes. All God has to say, is that the line you're talking about, Ruth? Um, three, four, all God has to say, and then to say, I'm. If you don't want to jump down, you could just wait and come in on the word I'm. But here it is again, two, ready, go. All God has to say. to hear it slow like that. Uh, okay, so now back to the beginning. Let's put all of that together with the long, short rocks and the bluesy note and the Divisi and the alto and blah, blah, blah. Here it comes. Uh -huh. 